Alex, nós estamos falando de draft, né? Eu queria saber qual a sua opinião a respeito da possibilidade que eu ouvi falar sobre muitos rumores do Knicks querer negociar a pick 4 com o Sacramento Kings, porque eu vi muitos rumores do Knicks estar apaixonado por Jaden Ivey, né? que tem aquela moral toda de já Moran 2.0 e etc. In English for you, uh, I want your opinion about uh, the rumors. Uh, Mark Berman and another guys comment with us. Uh, the Knicks in love for Jalen Ivey. Né? Pick, uh, probably, probably pick four in this draft. Sacramento Kings. Uh, né? Sacramento Kings uh, uh, has a famous né? the, uh, worst famous possible in draft. So, uh, I hear the Knicks are interested in, uh, in Jaden Ivey and they negotiate uh, pick four. Do you, do you, how, uh, what do you think about this, these rumors? Né? What's your opinion about these rumors? I think the Knicks are interested in trying to move up to four to try to land Jaden Ivey. I think they're going to look at all avenues to see how they can get up there. I don't think it's by any means necessary that they will move up to the fourth to go get Jaden Ivey, but they're going to do their due diligence and figure out what is it going to cost to move up to the fourth pick to go get it. Maybe they go to the seventh pick, right? Maybe they trade with Portland first, get the seventh pick, and, and then flip the seventh pick to go get the fourth pick to make it more palpable for the Sacramento Kings if they're going to drop down in the draft saying, All right, instead of going down from four to 11, you'll go down from four to seven and you trade that with whatever other assets that you need to to go get Jaden and Ivy. But I don't think it's by any means necessary. I think there are I, I think it is realistic, but so I uh, like it would be great for the Knicks to go get Jaden and Ivy, but I'm not looking for the Knicks to go mortgage everything to go get Jaden and Ivy either. So It's tough. It's tough, but I don't. I don't think the Knicks are. I don't think. I think if you're going to ask me, what's the realistic, like the percentage wise? I think it's. Well, on a scale, if, I, if it was on a scale of one to ten, ten being very realistic and one being unrealistic, I'm probably going to put it at a two. I'm probably going to put it at a two that the Knicks move up to the fourth pick to go get Jaden Ivy, just because I think they're going to have to move. Uh, heaven and earth in order to go get him. And I don't think they're going to be willing to do that. This, as, as we've seen from this team already, they're they're conscious about maintaining assets and finding cost, right? They're looking for that that perfect, that perfect equilibrium so that way they can get what they want while still getting good value uh, when they make that type of maneuver, whether it's for uh, trading for draft picks, acquiring draft picks, getting a player. It's all about value for them and making sure they have enough assets in the chest because, look, this team is also looking to make a big trade. I mean, you hear the Donovan Mitchell rumors and you're going to need a lot of assets to go get someone uh, like Donovan Mitchell. So I don't think the Knicks are, are willing to unload the chest uh, just to go, unless they believe uh, that player will be a game changer. If they believe... Jay Ivy is that player, then I wouldn't be shocked if they unload if they unloaded all, a lot of assets in order to go get him. But I don't, I don't think that's I don't think that's what they want to do um, because that's a big gamble in order to go in order to just rely on a, on a young player like that to be that game changer. Um, uh -huh. But I think I think they're trying to figure out how much how much is going to cost to move up. Uh Man, I, I will so yeah, will be so happy, man. Jaden Ivey uh, has an explosion, uh, uh, make the zero like a Ferrari <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. with ball, man. Uh, I like so much, but uh, I agree with you. Uh, I agree. I, I, I think the Knicks uh, in this draft uh, really. Uh, Uh, has a chance uh, take a, a good a good uh, PG for example or uh, AJ Griffin not PG but it's a great shooter man great shooter uh, mm -hmm. AJ Griffin I like him I like him uh, I I saw so many highlights uh, from from this player uh, but I I believe in these names Johnny Davis Dyson Daniels Ibrahim 
uh, um de, uh, one this these three guys for me for me uh, Nix has a, a chance in this draft bem com relação a, 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 a sua pergunta do Jay Denive né o, o Alex acredita que que o Nix teria que fazer dois movimentos no caso para poder é, se for fazer algo assim né para poder movimentar na, na subir né no poder de escolha aí para escolha 4 provavelmente que vai ser a escolha do Jay Denive o Nix teria que, que fazer uma troca primeiro para poder pegar a escolha 7 depois da escolha 7 fazer uma troca para chegar na escolha 4, né? E teria que fazer é, bastante movimentos nesse 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 draft para poder chegar lá. A questão é que vai depender muito do que que o Knicks entende sobre esse jogador, né? E, e, e o que eles pretendem dar, né? Em troca, porque é o seguinte é é um, é um jogador novo, né? Que ainda vai desenvolver o jogo ainda, né? Mostrou muitas coisas. A gente sabe que isso é muito complicado. Já tiveram outros atletas que, que foram até escolhas mais altas, escolha um, inclusive, né, e que não, não corresponderam na liga. E é muito arriscado você apostar muito alto e dar muitas, é, é, muitos, tipo assim, muitos valores em troca de um jogador que ainda vai ter que provar o seu valor na liga. Né? É um, um, ele, ele, se o Nick entender que ele é um jogador que pode mudar o jogo, né, mudar a história da franquia, talvez seria, seria interessante... Mas é, é algo muito complicado né, de, de se analisar por agora. Né, então, ele, ele, acha, ele, ele, se você fosse perguntar para ele qual é a chance de dar certo, ele diria que é metade-metade. Né? Porque pode ser que, que o Nix é, envolva muitas coisas na troca e que ele não devolva muitas coisas para o Nix, ou o contrário, né? que ele realmente mude a história da franquia, tudo isso tudo vai depender é, de como as coisas vão, mas que ele não faria nenhum movimento louco por, pelo Jaden Ivey por causa disso, né? E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! We are the New York Knicks. 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 Say go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Say go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. I'm a Knicks fan, I gotta stay true. Yes, I do. Are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Knicks fan. I gotta